Welcome! Over the next few minutes, we will show you what's new in Sage 50 Accounting, Canadian Edition, Release 2023.0. This release focuses on three main areas, which are the new branding, new features, and support improvements. Let's have a look at what does this mean for Sage 50 users. Please note that 64-bit Windows is required to install Sage 50 Release 2023.0. The Refresh brand represents Sage's new purpose, which is to knock down barriers so everyone can thrive, and is now incorporated in Sage 50 Canadian Edition, release 2023.0. While the core functionalities remain the same in the program, it will now incorporate some changes as part of Sage's new branding initiative. Here are some of the main examples. The new Desktop icons, two of the most commonly used that you may wish to take note of will be the new desktop icon for the Sage 50 program and the new icon for the Sage 50 data file, also known as the SAI file. Some examples among others where you will be able to note the new branding will be in the installation windows, the splash screen, the startup page. Now let's have a look at upcoming features with this new release. With the introduction of bank rules, you will now be able to save more time and reduce the risk of errors while performing bank reconciliations. This process will allow you to create bank rules and apply them to similar recurring transactions from bank fields or uploaded statements. On the Match Transaction window, Click on Bank Rules and Create Rule. Here, you can create different bank rules by filling out the necessary fields with the relevant information. Enter a description for the bank rule being created, for example, bank charges. Confirm that it applies to the correct bank and whether it should apply when money goes in or out. In case of this bank rule, Money goes out. Bank charges can be termed differently by your bank when downloading transactions from your bank feed or when uploading the bank statement. Therefore, it is important to enter the terms which will qualify as bank charges here. For example, there can be monthly statement fee which will qualify as bank charges when accounting for them in your books. You can also enter an amount in case of a fixed recurring amount or even the day of month the transaction takes place. Sage Banking Service will be able to identify those terms when downloading transactions either from bank feeds or from imported statements and apply the relevant bank rule. Finally, confirm or choose the transaction type. Enter a source code for the transaction and select the relevant expense or revenue account. In this case, it is an expense account. Choose the account it is being charged from. You can also enter a custom comment for the rule being created, or you can select the option of using the bank transaction description. Click on Create to create your first bank rule. You can also manage your bank rules by clicking on Bank Rules Manage Rules. This allows to edit, delete, or copy a saved bank rule. You are also able to create bank rules for transactions imported through bank statements if not using the bank feeds. On the Match Transaction window, click on Upload to Bank Services. Enter the details in case of a new bank or select the existing bank account. Select the option for the file format that you are importing for your bank statement. Select or drag and drop the relevant bank statement. Choose the option of how the dates are displayed in the file. Enter a comment for identification purposes and then click on Upload File. This window will ask you to review the transactions included in the bank statement as money going in or out and the Sage Bank Service will use this as a template to display the transactions in the correct format.
After choosing the type of transaction, click on Verify. Review the transactions and click on Import Transactions. Once the transactions are imported, you can follow the same steps to create bank rules and apply it to the current imported transactions or to future transactions imported for this bank. As from this release, no need to close any payroll window to update any employee information. For example, the payroll run window can remain open while you make an adjustment to the employee information by clicking on the employee name and the payroll run will automatically show the updated information as soon as you save. You can also quickly create employees without inputting all payroll details. This can be useful if you want to use this employee as a salesperson or on a time slip but do not have all the information on hand related to this employee. Reminders will be provided in the payroll journals for the employee records with missing payroll required fields and you will not be able to process payroll until the mandatory information has been entered for these employees. Another payroll feature update with this release is that you are now able to filter the employee ledger by active or inactive employees but also by incomplete status to quickly find employees that need payroll required fields updated. Select any employee on the ledger and click on the filter icon on the right of the employee name. Here you can check for filtering employees with incomplete records and click OK. When you select the next button, the ledger will automatically bring you to the next employee with incomplete records. Prior to 2023.0, it was not possible to print any stub for vendor or any other payments made by cash or credit card. It is now possible to print or email a payment stub relating to cash or credit card payments. In this new release, the limits of shortcuts have been increased from 10 to 25, enabling you quicker access to anywhere in Sage 50. Other new features to note are, you can now enter longer passwords and use special characters for your Sage50 user account. The length of the email address that can be entered in the employee records has now been increased. If your bank requires additional information on your deposit slips, you can now customize the deposit slip in the Sage50 forms designer to include additional GL account fields. The installation wizard for 2023.0 will prompt you to select whether you wish to add the Sage Support Resource Center icon on your desktop. This shortcut will allow you to access resources and reach Sage customer support in a more secure and quick way. If not needed, you can uncheck the box and click Next to continue the installation process. In case you cannot find your serial number and activation codes while installing Sage 50 2023.0, there is now a link to the customer portal where you can log in with your credentials and access your relevant codes. For more details about the 2023.0 release, you can review the What's New PDF document. Congratulations, you now know what's new in Sage 50 Accounting release 2023.0.